In this video, I'm going to show you how you can sell your Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies from your blockchain account and how to withdraw your funds into your bank. I'm Louise Elizabeth and welcome to Everybit Helps. I really hope you enjoy this video today and if you do then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button and share if you feel that others may benefit. Also, please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk where related blog posts are also available. I've recently received a lot of questions about how to withdraw your fear from the likes of blockchain, so I thought I'd create you this video today. So if you're not a fan of holding your crypto for the long run and you want to cash it in and withdraw, here's a beginner's guide to do so. With blockchain being one of the oldest and most trusted wallets available, you'd assume that you can easily withdraw your funds. However, unfortunately, this doesn't seem to be the case at this time. The blockchain wallet used to have a buy and sell section on the left here, which has now been mysteriously replaced with just buy crypto. So how can you sell your crypto with blockchain? Well, if we take a look at the help here, you'll see that they're currently working hard to bring sell to their users. Even though they had it there before, and now that they've released their exchange, it's no longer available. It sounds a little bit like a ploy to move their users across to me. But anyway, their exchange is nice and easy to use. And if you've not used it before, I've created a full beginner's guide, which I'll pop in the summary below. But for those of you who haven't connected the blockchain.com wallet across with your blockchain exchange, what I'll do is I'll show you how to do that now. So if we go ahead and create a new account within the blockchain exchange, and you'll be prompted to enter an email address and a password. And you'll then be prompted to connect your wallet. And one thing to mention is that connecting your blockchain wallet is only possible during sign up, and you won't be able to do this later. Also, you will need to be gold level verified to deposit and withdraw fiat from the exchange, which just means submitting your government issued ID on top of the silver level verification requirements. So let's go ahead and connect up our blockchain wallet. And you can do this by scanning across a QR code or signing into your wallet. And as you can see, it's now come up with a success that you've connected your blockchain wallet to your exchange and you can go back and finish signing up. So now we've successfully connected those two. So as you can see, it's a really simple process to do. And you'll then be prompted to enter in a username. If I just click on to continue, and then I can start trading. And the first thing you need to do is deposit some crypto that you can sell. So if we click on to deposit now in the top right hand corner, and if you haven't already done so, you'll need to enable two-factor authentication at this stage. And then you want to confirm what type of currency you're actually going to be sending across to the exchange. And that could be the likes of Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Ethereum, Stellar or Litecoin. And in this example, I'm going to be sending across Bitcoin, which I'm going to be depositing from my blockchain.com wallet. You'll be prompted to log in. And a send Bitcoin screen should then automatically prompt. However, if for any reason it doesn't, you can click on to send. Then from the to field, you can select exchange Bitcoin address. You then want to put in the amount that you want to send across. And I'm going to send across $15 of Bitcoin. And you'll see that there is a fee associated which you are charged, but you can select from either regular or priority. It then states the amount of time it thinks it will take to actually go across and then you can click on to continue. It will then show you a confirmation and you can click on to send Bitcoin. Then once you have some Bitcoin, Ethereum or other crypto to sell, you can go ahead and trade into your chosen currency. So from the top here, by clicking on the plus, you can choose your pairing. So in this example, I've got Bitcoin and I want to exchange it to GBP. But maybe you've got Bitcoin and you want to exchange it for euros or dollars. They're also available from this drop down too. But for the moment, like I said, I'm going to be selling out to GBP. So once you've selected your trading pair, what we're going to do is go across to the right and click on to sell. And you then want to type in the amount of Bitcoin that you want to sell, or you can take from what is available to trade, which will be your entire balance. And then if you click onto that link, it will automatically fill in the amount field. However, I'm going to be selling about 10 pounds in Bitcoin. So what I'm going to do is type that in. And once you've typed that in, it's then going to give you an estimated total in here as well. So you can see it's about 10 pounds there. 
And then you have your order types. So you have an option of a market, a limit, a stop, and a stop limit order. And I've got separate tutorials with explanations of all of these, which again, I'll pop in the summary below. But for the purposes of this beginner's guide, I'm gonna keep it simple and sell with a market order. And this means I'm gonna sell at whatever the current market price is. And there are different fees associated to different types of orders too, and how much you're actually trading with. In this example, I'm a taker of the market and therefore I'm gonna be charged 0.24% for my trade. Then once you're ready for that to go ahead, click on to place Bitcoin order. It'll then come up with a confirmation and you can submit your order. Again, it's showing you that confirmation of that fee too. Now with a market order, it automatically places and it goes through instantly. So if I now click onto my username and click on the little down arrow and go to history, I can now view information in relation to that order. So it gives me the amount that I sold. It'll tell me the fill price, how much of a fee I was charged, and then the date and time of that order. If I now go back over to my username, and if I go to portfolio, you can see from my portfolio under the British pounds, I have the option to withdraw because I have an active balance. So if I click onto that, it'll then ask me what I want to withdraw. So if I click on the drop down, and if I select British pounds, and as I said, you will need to be gold level verified to be able to withdraw GBP. And if you don't already have a linked bank account, it'll also ask you to make a small deposit so that they can link your bank account. And when I deposited my funds across from my bank account, it came through instantly. Just ensure that the name that you have on your blockchain exchange matches the name on your bank account so that they can match the two together. Now, in terms of withdrawal fees, your transaction automatically includes a network fee to get your withdrawal confirmed in a timely manner. So you'll then be asked how much you'd like to withdraw and I'm gonna withdraw 10 pounds. And you'll also be asked to enter in your two-factor authentication code. Then you can go ahead and withdraw. So as you can see, it states that your withdrawal is being processed. It might take up to five business days to reach your bank account. However, I've just received a notification on my phone saying that I've just received 10 pounds into my bank. So that's how you can sell your crypto and withdraw your chosen currency to your bank account. In my personal opinion, I prefer selling with Coinbase and Coinbase Pro. The reason why that is, is that when you are sending your funds across from Coinbase to Coinbase Pro instantly, also you're not charged any fees in sending your funds across. However, with blockchain, you're obviously charged a fee and it's taken a long time for my funds to actually reach blockchain exchange. But there you go. That's how you sell your Bitcoin and withdraw your funds into your bank account. And I hope that you enjoyed this video today and if you did, then please give me a like, hit the subscribe button, and please do head over to my website at everybithelps.co.uk for more tips, reviews, and tutorials. Thanks. And I'll see you soon.